and welcome to A Place to Call Home. It's our weekly series where we talk about everything. My name is Portia Evans, and the group I have with me are, first of all, friends, and we are here to talk about a very important upcoming event. It is called Unity in the Community. Please help me welcome my guests, and you can introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Brandon Carter, Christopher Bernard, Josh Webman, Shannon Ozan, Latina Bernard, Elvina Durrell. So as you can see, family, we have a wonderful, wonderful group here. This is an important event. I want to know, first of all, whose brainchild was this? Well, this uh, came up, me and Josh was on the phone and uh, me and Josh started talking about uh, unity. And it was just me and him and then we said, uh, well, unity is gonna be when all different organizations all come together, churches, organizations, uh, police officers, as long as we have mm -hmm. the same focus and that main focus is on God and allowing God to work through us to make a change. And what are some of the issues uh, as to why you know, we, we, we've talked about this for years and years and years here in Lafayette about the community coming together. What are some of the issues that prompted you folk to get together? Um, With the recent violence events in the community and uh, people are afraid to talk to the uh, police officers, you know, so we've tried to be the middle people to network with them to get to the law enforcement to let them know they do have a voice and that pe the people are concerned about their feelings and their safety. Are we targeting any specific communities? Uh, not really, because violence goes everywhere. Um, uh, we was mentioning to a lady the other day, a bullet doesn't have an eye. Uh, if it's aimed at a white child or a black child, it, it, it's going to hit whoever it comes in contact with. So wherever the violence is, is where we need to go. All right. So there's a special event that's up and coming. You have well, put long, hard hours into planning this event. Yes, ma'am. It's called Unity in the Community, and kind of tell me what that's going to uh, be about. Okay, well, uh, first it's going to uh, it's going to take place at uh, at the King Center, which is uh, 309 Cora in Truman. We're going to start off in Truman and walk through uh, the worst uh, uh, drug and crime areas and uh, w where we feel, you know, cops might not be doing their job, you know, because we know that it's, I can count just off of, off the back of my head, it's five different unsolved murders in Lafayette, you know, and uh, we're gonna walk through those neighborhoods. After we walk through those neighborhoods, we're gonna end up back at the King Center where we're gonna give an event there. It's gonna be uh, free food, uh, gifts, uh, gas cards, you know, and, uh, we have all kind of people, uh, like one sponsor that I know off the top of my head is, uh, uh, Brother Jeremiah, uh, Suffolk. 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 yeah, uh, awesome gentleman, awesome gentleman, awesome, ge awesome gentleman. Josh ha also has a couple of sponsors that he, that he's going to, uh, mention, uh, and everyone is coming together. I'm talking about everyone, Parks and Recreation, they're, they're even on board with us. I'm. Everyone. We are we are praying that the entire city uh, become involved right. and listen to the message of the event. Now, as you all know, uh, there was a tragic violence in my life. You know, it didn't happen here in this community, but it happened. Amen. You know, so I have a, a, a you know, I am so proud that uh, somebody's addressing the issue. You know, but I really, really think that we need to get to the root of these problems. Exactly. We need to get to the root exactly. and see what causes this systemic mindset in some of these young people, mm -hmm. you know? And how do you address that? How do you get to it? You know, um, we can march and rally all day long. We can, we can. but who's listening? You know, Porsche, our leaders, if, if the leaders, which is, uh, I'm talking people that's uh, up in age, uh, political figures, judges, lawyers, if all of us come together 
and we show the younger generation that we can come together, stuff that we're not standing for, and, and make sure that if we say something and we, and we let everybody know that we are going to be held accountable for what we say, what we do and everything, I think the young, younger generation is going to open their eyes and they're going to say, well, you know what, they're not playing with us. They're really not playing with us. We need to do the, start doing the right thing. If the, if the head is right, everything else going to fall in line. Well, uh, I, I just want to say, so the uh, march is going to start, the marching rally is going to start at the King Center, and then we're going through Truman. How far is this marching rally, and who's invited? Okay, the march is, right now, is 4.5 miles. Uh, basically, it's going to take, like, about 2 hours and 30 minutes to, uh, to uh, complete the march. We have a stopping point that's uh, at uh, the new Gaddafi store in Lafayette where the old Chinese used to be and everyone is invited. There's no it's no certain church that's invited, it's uh, no certain race, everyone is invited. Unity, unity, uh, like my brother Brandon always says, it's gonna be a big melting pot. Every everyone comes together. And from that from that day forward, I'm claiming it in the name of God, that everything is gonna get better. Everything I, of course anybody can come. Anybody. Anybody. Young, and old. Young, old. And I want to make this clear. It's not a political rally. It's not. It's a community event. No one uh, needs to come there trying to, you know, uh, make this into a political rally because it's not. It's a community event for all of us, all of us to come together and move forward. And... Uh I wanted to, before that text came on my phone, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> it broke my train of thought, but I just uh, wanted to say that each and every one of you in some way represents different organizations yes, and are doing different things individually. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so maybe we can talk about your organization, Ms. Ozan, and what it represents. I don't see I'm in an organization. I'm more of a movement. I'm here to represent the Able Movement. Okay. And, of course, uh, Chris and Tina, husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to represent Man Up, nonprofit organization. Okay. And Miss Alzina? Yes. I'm Alzina Burrell, and I have a nonprofit, Seasons with Unity, and I just fit in with printing any advertisement, t-shirt, awareness. I also uh, deal with uh, issues in the area, community area, like with the violence and things that's I understand, Ms. Alzine, you live in Quiet Town. That's correct. And there has been, um, you know, in, in recent months, some different things going on. It's not like the old Quiet Town used to be. No, no, it's, uh, it's changed, it's like, um, I try to push awareness of uh, know your neighbors, know your surroundings, because uh, most of the homeowners have gone on, and and it's mostly renters now. So we have to keep a watchful eye because it's too much different activity. It's too busy, and and um, Ms. Shannon has uh, set up a piece of prayer today in my area to support that, and I, I appreciate that. And that is wonderful, well, uh, Brandon. Yes, ma'am. The organization, well, the church. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I go to Church Beyond Walls. Uh, I'm also helping uh, Brother Chris, my big brother, uh, with the Man Up organization. I just try to fit in where I get in. Whatever I need to do, whatever I can do is what I do. Now, I want to ask this question. We're talking, the event is entitled Unity in the Community. Yes, ma'am. But uh, in recent days, we have heard about things going on in our community especially concerning our Lafayette Police Department that I do not like hearing. Do we have the police department on board? Are they uh, saying that they will help you with this event? I know a long time ago there used to be uh, uh, some kind of event where they would put cops in touch with these kids mm -hmm. and they would uh, you know, form this camaraderie where they would get together and learn, the, 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 the cops would learn the neighborhoods, they would learn the neighbors, they knew what was going on. So with this event, do we have the Lafayette Police Department on board with us? 
right now. We're uh, waiting on a few answers right now as we speak. Have we approached and them? Yes, countless yes, times. yes, uh, countless. And, uh, <laughs> it's been met with a lot of resistance, Miss Portia. Uh, why? I, I, I don't really understand you are, why. I mean, you are all responsible mm -hmm. young try to people. Be. Try to be. You know, uh, and I know that you're doing good things in the community. That's why I wanted to have all of you here. But why the resistance? Why do you think? Well, I can, I can say this. Most recently, I just met with Chief Kraft. Uh, at Precinct mm -hmm. 4, along with uh, Watch Commander Ridge. And I submitted my proposal for like project front yard or community relations between policemen and children in the area. So that's something that they're looking into to bring that togetherness, like neighbors working together with police officers to know diversity in the area with the young kids in order to bring that communication back in order to not be so far off and if they would see a policeman go the other way instead of like, you know, send someone that looks like us. You know, and, and, you know, bottom line, with these incidents all over the country, I really believe that there is a fear, especially in young black men, right. when it comes to police and police departments. They tell you to stop. The kids run. There's a reason for that. There's a reason they run. You know, it's not just because. But uh, I am glad that you're having the event. If you're just joining us, folks, we're talking unity in the community. The march and rally is going to be happening August 1st. It kicks off at the King Center, 8.30 a.m. in the morning, nice and cool. Going to have everybody gather, and of course, you're going to pray. Amen. Yes, and uh, going to go through the neighborhoods and yes. just march and rally and stand for something. Yes, yes. ma'am. In yes. Lafayette, yes. Louisiana. Yes. 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 We are reaching out, and I am hoping that Chief Kraft and the entire department is listening uh, to the uh, council members in that area. We're hoping that you are listening to the message. Somebody needs to bridge the gap and put the first foot forward and let's Amen. do this thing Amen. let's do it Amen. i mean it's simple it's not uh this is not a violent group this is a group of responsible people business owners and they are coming together just asking uh, that somebody pay attention and somebody recognize that hey we need to uh you know just Stop it right now, whatever's going on. Yes, yes. And to the young people hearing this message as well, you know, we need to say to you, you need to be more responsible. You do not need to just pick up a, a weapon <laughs> and randomly just go through the neighborhood wanting to shoot. That is crazy. You know, we want to invite all parents, grandparents, Mamas, papas, everybody, yes, everybody to come and join in the effort. Unity Amen. in the community. Amen. Now, I know you've got, uh, you mentioned some fine people that have come together in mm -hmm. sponsorship mm -hmm. and that will be assisting you. <coughs> Josh, what made you want to get involved in this kind of thing uh, just wholeheartedly? Well, Miss Portia, I, uh, I grew up in an area where I've seen it a lot of times. You know, been around it a lot of times, and I, I try to be the voice of people that don't have no voice. Amen. I try to be a responsible young, young man to where people can look up to me. At one time in my life, I was one of those persons that was cutting up. Thank the good Lord I'm still alive and here to talk about it now. Amen. I want to be a vessel for God's work. I want to be a tool in this toolbox. And I also want to be example to the ones that need examples in. Yeah. You know, and at the same time, I remember when I was a young kid, I would do something in the neighborhood. Before I would get back to my mom's house, I caught right. three, four yeah. whippings. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, yeah. you try to correct a kid, the parents want to fight. Yes. Yeah. Back then, the village raised the kid. Mm -hmm. right. We need to go back to these roots, you know. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Agreed. And that's how Amen. I feel about it. 
And I am proud of you, young man. Yes. I am very, very proud of That's you. Nice. You know, because we could have all uh, gone in other directions. But uh, again, August 1st, Unity in the Community. If you're interested, is there a website, an email, or something of that nature? Yes, ma'am. The website is beautyinunity341 at gmail.com. Beauty? Beauty in Unity. In Unity. 341 at gmail.com. All right. And uh, let me see. Beauty in, let me see that. All right. And uh, this is a nonprofit organization. We are glad that uh, Church Beyond Walls and my pastor, Lafayette Parks and Ref Recreation, are uh, uh, two of the uh, sponsors uh, for the event. We are hoping that we can get uh, City Hall involved and everybody. Mm -hmm that needs to come together and just Amen. say. And if you'd like to be a sponsor, how do they contact you? Through the website, through Unity in the, uni they Beauty, yeah. Beauty in Unity 341 at gmail.com. And if they would like to be a sponsor, is there a telephone number? Do they contact you individually or? They can, uh, if, if they see one of us first, they can uh, talk to any one of us, if not, they can reach me at my cell phone number. It's 337-780-8479. Okay. And, uh, well, there are several businesses in Truman. We're hoping that they come on board. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you know, uh, I've always said, you know, that's where we spend our money. Right. Yeah. That is where we spend <laughs> our money. Right. You know, so uh, we are hoping that they uh, certainly are first uh, to come on board and, you know, offer a soda, some bags of chips, yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, some bottles of water. Yes, uh, yes. Anything. Yes. You know, you know, Porsche, uh, this is uh, mm. my, how I, I, I look at it. Uh, it's a lot of bad things that is happening. But and we can know, talk about all yeah, the bad. We, mm -hmm. and, and police officers, uh, judges, lawyers, churches, political figures, it's a lot of bad things. The community, every, but I, I look at it, Portia. What if we sent our kids to school to be lawyers, and we didn't let our kids look up to the dope dealers, and 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 we actually stayed on our kids, prayed and prayed and prayed, and was really that we would have somebody to fight for us, Portia. But here it is, we don't have nobody to fight for us, and we want to point the finger and say woulda, shoulda, and coulda, when. I, I, <laughs> my famous quote from Tupac, it ain't them that's killing us, it's us that's killing us. That's right. Yes. Right, right, right. And it's true. I feel this way. It's, it's like too many people are looking the other way and they're put, pointing the finger to blame mm -hmm. this one and that one. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I'm like this. You want, you want to see change within, you, within the community, well, then it's time for you to take a stand. It's time for you to say, well, today I'm going to get up and see what type of difference I can make within my community. You know, instead of seeing the crime going in the community, closing your door and saying, well, it doesn't have nothing to do with my kids, right. my grandkids, so I'm going to just look the other way and leave it alone. No, it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be you making a change because you're supposed to look out for your neighbor just your as neighbor. well as your neighbor is supposed to look out for you as well. And there are a lot of times right. that people refuse to just get involved. Mm -hmm. right. They refuse right. mm -hmm. to get involved. I don't want to be in that. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want any retribution from that. I don't want to get involved. Right. And soon as trouble hit their door, mm -hmm. yeah. they want to make phone calls. They want to say, God, where you was, God, when when God already had created a path for you, for you to be able to make a make a path for your children. You know, and then all of a sudden when 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 it hit their door, Everybody is a problem. No, no. It's, you know, it's, one thing I like, though, I like these kinds of events, but I like end results. Amen. Yes. Right. Amen. That's Amen. what I like. I don't, Amen. you know, I don't just like meeting and marching and gathering mm -hmm. and not having an end result. Exactly. Right. exactly. Where do we go after the march? Exactly. What happens mm -hmm. after the march? Exactly. Have we uh, looked at that vision as to what happens after the march? My one thing is I've always thought about, there are things that we can do with our kids in the community mm -hmm. to lift them up. Yes, yes, you know, there are things, there are so many elders in the community with crafts mm -hmm. and with skills mm -hmm. 
to teach these kids mm -hmm. to do something better. Yes. I have kids in this studio right now, mm -hmm. and it is because I want them, when they graduate from high school and go to college, and they all will, Amen. I want Amen. them not to have to work at Burger King in college. Yes. I want them to walk whatever city they are in mm -hmm. into the closest television station mm -hmm. and say, look, I am trained to do this. Mm -hmm. This is something I've been doing exactly. since I was a young mm -hmm. kid. Exactly. I have kids that have sprung from this outlet that are now interning on the Maury Povis show, wow. that are, are doing awesome. wonderful, uh, awesome. with a training that just somebody took time to say, hey, you want to learn something? Exactly. Yeah. Look, exactly. I'm going to teach you something. Exactly. I'm going to teach you how to pour cement. Yeah. Ain't nobody exactly. want to do that no more. Mm -hmm. Just the elders. That's a dying profession. Yeah. Yeah. Just, an, just the elders. I'm going to mm. teach you, young lady, how to sew, mm, yeah. exactly. how to bake a pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to teach you that. Yeah. Exactly. So you can make way for yourself some kind of yes. way. Yeah. All these things that, uh, you know, people used to do, you know, uh, how to do the hall cracklings right. Yeah. How to, right. Yeah. you know, what, what, yeah. Yeah. where that's going? Yeah. 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 Somebody else making money, yeah. not us. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. At the time, what you're saying, Portia, and Mr. Josh can attest to this, um, I'm, I'm working alongside planning and zoning in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's called revitalization. And um, there's these houses that we're looking at to do an in-house library, in-house communication, mm -hmm. broadcasting, mm -hmm. a neighborhood park in the area uh, where the kids can go for tutoring or mentorship or they want to learn how to sew. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, and things of that nature. So that's, Wonderful. That's in the works now with planning and zoning in the mm -hmm. same building where I've been meeting with Ms. Gilbert. And awesome. also I meet with Dee Stanley on Wednesday to attest to the area to where my resources are gonna mm -hmm. come from. Along with that, with Sheep Craft and others. So it's in motion, I can visualize it, I can see it, it's in motion. So I have a few things in place that I'm working with. I think we just need to come up with, with, with a plan after the march. We need to put some things in place. There's so much grant money out there available. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all we have to do is apply for it. Right. All we have to do is apply for it, but we can put some things in place where we can get these young men interested in something they like. Mm -hmm. See, I knew that these kids were all things digital. They like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't have to really teach them nothing. Right. They already know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I knew that I could attract some minds yeah. just from this little operation right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. You know, all things, did, they love that. Mm -hmm. We just got to know what uh, they're attracted to, exactly. what they want to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not always about basketball and playing football and baseball, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, but they got to, they got to, they gotta have something. Yeah. Something. Mm -hmm. The elders used to say, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now I can sit up and try to think how I'm gonna make me some dollars mm -hmm. yeah. all day long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I ain't coming up with the right thing. Yeah. I'm not right. coming up with the right thing. Yeah. 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 Unity in the community, folks, it's gonna be happening August 1st. Meet at the Martin Luther King Center. Be on time. I'll be on the radio, so I'll be talking about y'all being there on time. 8.30 a.m. in the morning, nice and cool. Come together for a great cause. And uh, we want to see some end result. I want to thank each and every one of you, thank you. for thank coming. Thank you for the opportunity. For uh, you. being here, for having the vision to put on the event. And I know something good is going to come from it mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about thank Amen. you so much thank again you, that's going to wrap up our show for today we'll be back again next time with something else in the meantime you be blessed and bye-bye